I'm wearing my as is t-shirt today <laughs> because I've been out in the garden all day and this is just one of the old ones I kick around in. But I've been kind of thinking about, you know, I, I taught this uh, class yesterday called uh, the global impact of self-love. And gosh, it's kind of heartbreaking in a way when when people come and it's it's so it's so beautiful where there is such a willingness you know to be present with these parts inside of ourselves that are so not loved and it is heartbreaking so when i teach a class called the global impact of self-love most people don't even know what it is uh, maybe the title is not really as attractive as i thought it would be I think it's more like, how do you love yourself? And why is that important? Well, I can tell you why it is important. When you start loving yourself, and that means when you stop not loving yourself, that's kind of the only switch. It's not like, you know, you become this amazing, loving, open-hearted being who whatever it's it's that's not what i'm talking about who gets massages every day and blah blah yada, yada. no it means that you stop becoming your worst enemy it means that you stop putting yourself down and judging yourself and beating yourself up and ignoring your own needs it's this it's like this whole category over here where you are not loving yourself and we all have them until we stop doing it so the people who joined of course they were all doing that it, it was really heartbreaking actually to hear how hard each one of them was to themselves and how they were totally ignoring their own needs and always concerned about what other people thought or, you know, all these things that we do to ourselves and thinking we're doing something wrong and if we don't do what other people want us to do or to be, then we won't be loved and on and on it goes. It's awful. Just think about it. Do you do that? Do you treat yourself like that too? Even to a smaller degree. Isn't that painful when you beat yourself up like that? I know I used to be like that, so I'm not uh, immune to it. And I don't do it anymore. I, I just don't. It's I am just like, I'm not going to enter this category of, of bullying and meanness. I'm going to stay over here and really practice learning to listen to myself and to trust what comes through and be okay if I make mistakes and if I get it wrong. You know, it's it's like you move from this category, this box over here of beating yourself up and ignoring yourself and overworking, overeating, over, 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 whatever, just to avoid feeling this deep pain that we all have inside because we feel that there's something wrong with us and that we're not good enough. I talked about that in a recent uh, YouTube where I, I think it was called, you're not born into sin, you're born into the matrix. And what is the matrix? Well, when you're born into it, you take on this identity. Now you're separate from God, you're separate from your source, you're separate from all good and you're separate from love and you're put on this planet and now you just have to figure it all out on your own and you're probably going to do a very bad job that's kind of the underlying energy that we are born into and it does not have to be like that but we have to first become aware of that we are doing it and that's why i started yesterday's class with you know help have people become aware of what it is that they're doing to themselves how are they not loving themselves how do you not love yourself how do you actually do that and do you have a favorite way of really 
ignoring yourself and uh, being unkind to yourself. Those are the things by bringing them up to the surface, then we can see them. And then there is a choice. Then there is a choice. Most people, when they really, really see it, they go like, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to live like that. That's certainly how it was for me when I saw it many, many years ago, when I still lived in Denmark. I saw that I had this way of, you know, like a really harsh way of always looking inside how I was the cause of the things that were going on in, in my life. Not that there's anything wrong in taking a good look and see, you know, what is it that is reflected back to me in the world? But it was done in a very harsh way, like really believing that I was the, the culprit and it was all me doing the bad things. And it was very, very hard. So one day I saw it. I I saw it and I felt what I was doing to myself really like, whoa and i sobbed and sobbed and sobbed i i it was so painful to see that and then i vowed to not do that anymore now it didn't go away overnight i definitely stopped doing the very obvious things the very um the the overt ways that i was doing it i didn't know all the underlying um covert ways that I was doing it and that's of course that's been the process of clearing that out when you stop doing this not loving yourself you basically slip out of a big part of the matrix the illusion the false light the uh, simulation that has been like put over us and that we see life through as if that's how it is so not loving yourself is that's where you create a division, you create a split in yourself. So you you buy into what you, we were born into, right? So we're born into it and then we buy into it. We can now stop buying into it. We're still born into it, but we can stop buying into it because we have choice when it becomes conscious. And then what? Then you will, then you can choose what do you really want. When this unconscious beating yourself up is being seen, has become really, really conscious, it's not going to go away overnight because the patterns, they're running, our, they're running the show. They're in our nervous system. They're in the neural pathways. They just go on default when you're not conscious. So it takes a lot of willingness to, to keep looking at it and keep seeing when we're doing it, but not beating yourself up when you see you're doing it. That's another pattern, right? You see you're making a mistake, you're doing something wrong, you're, you're doing it again, it's like, bang, here comes to the hammer. You're like, look what you're doing again. No, that's part of the matrix. That's part of this box over here where you are not loving yourself. So loving yourself is basically... As is this is how I am I'm not perfect by any means but this is who I am and I'm not going to beat myself up for it I'm not going to try and change myself to fit into some kind of a pretzel no I'm going to learn to be myself and find out who am I really when I'm not influenced or um um indoctrinated or programmed from the outer world around me who am I then do I dare say for instance if I'm in a situation and everybody wants to do something but my truth as is is like no I, I don't feel moved to do that can you just say you know I'm I'm gonna stay home or I'm not gonna join you today I'm gonna do this because that feels more true for me in the moment that is being loving to yourself it is very very simple once you know how to listen to your own flow your own movement then it becomes very simple but it's learning it's really learning to 
listen to and, and get in touch with how does my body speak to me and how do I hear it? How do I feel it? And how do I know what it means? Well, you will know when you just tune into it and start listening. Like that's what I teach in the, the little three-step formula that I have shared here before. It's called the ALL formula, A-L-L. Uh, stands for allow, listen, love. So we allow this, whatever as is, whatever we are that's imperfect, we just allow ourselves to be imperfect because we are, you know, everybody is. We're all pretty messed up because we have been believing that we're separate from the divine. That's what's messed us up. Once we come back in line, then we can say, you know, that that doesn't feel right. That Why should I believe that I'm bad? Why should I believe that I'm not good enough? For what? Who says? And then we start finding out, well, what is my flow? What is my truth? What matters to me? What do I want? And that's not a selfish thing. I know that's been so misperceived as being selfish and that's part of the matrix that it's selfish to honor yourself to trust yourself to move with your own truth when you do that you'll notice that you are much more loving and giving to everyone because you're just in that flow of your own love you're following your own flow and it just moves so I was I was kind of really uh, a little heartbroken when I heard, you know, sometimes when people say it so clearly because I basically asked them to, you know, we took a little meditation inside so they could find these places and like, oh, my God, don't do that. Please don't do that. But then it's a matter of learning how to not do the box over here and just starting to listen to your your natural expression. It's, it is that simple, but it takes a long time, it takes practice, it takes learning, um, it takes willingness to really let go of these old, awful, awful patterns. So you're always welcome to uh, join me in that if you want. You can always reach out. If you need support in this, you can set up uh, a free 30-minute discovery session with me on my website. Link is in the description below. And, uh, and then we can see if it feels right for you to do some work with me and start moving through these layers where you have separated yourself from your true self. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.